What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a unboxing of a backup hard drive. I'm gonna be doing a further in-depth video about how I'm gonna use this. Personally, I'm gonna stick this on my Xbox uh, Series S uh, to increase its storage to two terabytes. I got this for Christmas from my girlfriend, so I am very excited to finally put this to use. It is... It says it could be used for Windows and Mac, but I'm pretty sure I've seen videos of people connecting this just to their um, Xbox. Uh, keep in mind, if you do use this um, for Xbox, you're not going to have the fastest like uh, read and write speeds. Like I don't think you can play games off it, but I'm basically just going to keep this uh, so I can keep all the games that I have, but not my daily games. Like These are just games that I occasionally might play or something something that i don't really play that often so i wouldn't keep my main games on here just some content so that i can um not have to re-download everything every single time which is such a pain uh, i did get my girlfriend did get me two terabytes which is more than enough for me i know the xbox series s comes with 500 gigs but out of the box after all the updates and um all the installation for everything you're left with like 320 which is basically like three games nowadays so yep um let's see this is the seagate one touch uh yep let's open this bad boy up also i'm gonna be doing like i don't know how to really do it but it's gonna be like a review on my probably my biggest purchase ever it is a car but i just I wanted to do like a review on it. Now that I've driven it a couple thousand miles, I wanted to make sure that, that you guys, uh, if you're in the car market right now, I know it's probably not the best time, but if you do end up getting one, what my thoughts and opinions are, I'll be doing that one sometime next week or throughout the next weeks because I've never done like a car review. I'm more used to like sitting down and unboxing. That's sort of my thing. But yeah, I'm trying to work that out as best quality as I can. Uh, but yeah, let's continue to this one. So, what comes in this? I think she said this was around 80 to $90. So, it's very easy. It basically comes in with its own proprietary um, plug-in. And then the other end goes into, like, your computer. And then basically, on Windows or the Mac, it would pop up as the device. And then you basically just continue on from there and follow the steps. Not that hard. Uh, let's see what they actually include. So this is the nice little passport. Not bad, not bad. Nice and nice and compact. I guess you could put this in your backpack if you're going to school or work or you need somewhere to to keep this. It's nice and it's a nice little design. Smaller than a phone. Put some of this trash away. And, of course, you come in with a cable that is needed in order to transfer the data. So, let's see what, what, what you actually get. So, you get the... just like a, a thing in case you forget your passwords i guess some adobe subscription plan i don't know all these little things they try to sell off on you like organize your photos and shit like that i mean i personally don't really have a use for any of this and i know majority of people probably would just not care about that so you see your cable right here you see your um port right there stick it in the port And then plug it into wherever you're going to be doing it. So in the next clip, I'm probably going to show you guys how I do it on, personally on my Xbox 360 and how it looks like on the screen and how to configure it. So I'll show you guys then. All right, guys, we're back on my Xbox. As you can see, I have my right here, my um, hard drive. Let's plug it in. I'm going to plug it in through the front one. It is plugged in and now let's go to the xbox so as soon as you uh 
plug it in, you'll get the use for media or for games and apps. If you choose this external storage for media, music, videos, and pictures, you'll keep any content that's currently on the drive. And if you choose it for games and apps, the drive needs to be formatted. Everything will be erased. You can manage this device later. So I'm going to do format storage device because I want it for games. So Seagate touch, that's fine. Let's see. Uh, that's fine with me. Install things on Seagate by your default. If you make Seagate to place install new games app, you can change the install new things here. Uh, uh, let's see. I don't know where you, you can change the settings. settings. I'll install the new things there. Why not? Format Seagate, one touch you HDD, you will end formatting, and you'll be able to use the game scroll games. So let's just format it and it is ready. So hold down the Xbox button. And now we see that uh, right there, you can see that I have now. Oh, wait, let's see. Right here on, on the Seagate one, I have 1.8 terabyte. So in total in my games one and my regular games one. I think I'm already pretty much full, but on the Seagate one, it is free basically. So yeah, so once you have it set up, you can see it right now, it's kind of lit up and that'll basically tell you that it is ready to go. And then from then on, you can just download your games on there and you will be good. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll be working on a bunch of content from now on. Hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.